All right, so we've had the Revel now for about, how long have we had this? Just about three years. About three years. And when we're driving, I usually just put my phone right there. You got your phone handy? I do, actually. <laughs> so you can, you can put them in these little cubby holes, but it's not ideal. You can't really see what's going on. Um, and there's, I mean, there's guys who make these mounts that go into the cup holders and put this huge bar up here. So your phone is, you know, up here at eye level. I don't know. I didn't want something quite like that. And I, I actually put mine right here a lot. Oh, is that right? Yeah. That, that's what you do. Okay. Well, that's great. So, <laughs> anyways, I've been looking around. Pro Clip. There's all kinds of different mounts. I think I finally found one that's going to do the job. And this video is going to show you how I'm going to mount it and get it put in place. Okay, so after uh, a lot of Google and Amazon searching, I stumbled across the off roam website and found this Sprinter phone mount. And it just looked like it would be perfect for what I'm looking for. It's all metal construction, solid, um, well-made. The, the sliding assembly that, that clamps on your phone is, is awesome. I mean, it's all metal. It's not that plasticky Amazon stuff. It's not going to break. It just feels like it's going to last the life of the van. So I, uh, I'm glad I found this one. And um, I think you're going to see it. it it's really... A suitable mount for the sprinter van it's clean and very functional so let's go ahead and uh, put it in okay so here's the uh, mount that goes in the pocket the way this tapers down you can only go so far to the right with this mount point so we're gonna loosen up these allen head screws so we can get the bracket loose enough to put into place So the Revel comes with this fake carbon fiber trim to make it look more um, elegant. Yeah, elegant. It, more like a, a McLaren F1. I mean, <laughs> when you're driving a vehicle like this, you know, pat, it's got paddle shifters. You really do feel like you're in a supercar. <laughs> Anyways, so that, that trim piece there is going to be kind of weird. I'm going to just see if we can loosen this up to the point where I can get it all the way in there. All right. That's as far forward as I can put it. So now I'm just gonna I'm just gonna tighten these up here. We'll speed it up so it's not so boring. All right, so we are getting close to having this completely tightened up. All right, so it's it's mounted. Feels pretty secure. Oop. So. Basically, it's got a little clip that kind of grabs the bottom of it there. And you still have storage here, but now you have this mount ball that we're going to put the arm and the actual phone mount itself on. These are all metal pieces, so it's pretty, I mean, it's good quality. This is not some cheap plastic Amazon fly by night weird name brand. So there it is, it's, it's in place. I'm gonna use my old Pixel phone. There it is, that's good. I've still got the vent, I've got good access to the vent. You don't think you'll hit it when you're steering? Good. No, I think I'm good. I mean, I can, I can pivot it over more if I really wanted to. Here, oh, you know, that seems be so, so this way, I've got it even further over. Good access for when you're doing power shifts, paddle shifting. But I gotta say, this is. I mean, it's a aluminum construction with I mean there's no play this this thing is 
well made. It's that's nice. I like the fact that I've got good access to the vent. I'm gonna do it from my point of view again. It doesn't obstruct the screen, but as I'm driving, if I need to get over here and, and take a phone call or do something, if I'm not using the Android Auto and I just want to use my regular phone, this is gonna work good. It's clean, simple, it's not taking up a bunch of space on the dash. Let's try it with the, uh, what is this, the iPhone 20? What is this? 14 Pro. Boom. Works great. Solid. I mean, it's not going anywhere. And there's our American Express uh, information for you folks. <laughs> so, I don't know. I, a little... But yeah, I'd like this. This is, uh, this is exactly what I want. It's something clean and simple. It's well made. It's solid. And uh, I think this is going to do exactly what I want it to do. So as always, thanks for watching. No need to thumbs up. No need to like it, right? I mean, we don't need any of that, right? Yeah. That's you want us? You want people to unsubscribe? Yeah, we don't like people. Well. If we could just block yeah. us, maybe report us for a copyright violation or whatever it is, you know, you feel like uh, dinging us for. Anyways, too much pressure. yeah, yeah, it's a lot of pressure. But there it is, man. Take a look. That's solid, well made, and uh, that's what I'm going to be using to uh, hold the phone while we're cruising down the road. So thanks again for watching. Later.